Good morning, everyone. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to our subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, Caps of Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basic, basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I received a couple downloads. I've uh, been up for a not too long, a little bit, and I received a few downloads sitting here meditating, so I'm going to deliver them. I hope everybody's doing well. This is actually the Daily Tea for 5-12-2022, so I hope everybody's doing fit, fabulous, just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, my hand is feeling a little better today, a little, so for anybody's asking, I know a lot of people text me last night asking how my hand was and i uh, thank you so much for all the well wishes and people who truly do care um i really appreciate it okay so um the channel message i received was um a sagittarius uh sagittarius energy is about to sue the hell out of a scorpio scorpionic energy um, through many series of chain events is what I heard. And I heard later down the line, soon when a Leo learns the entire truth, a Leo will sue the hell out of a Scorpionic energy very soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates in one's life, um, Sag and um, Leo and Scorpionic energy. They could have, uh, it could be a masculine or femme Sag. A masculine or femme um, Leo or a masculine or femme uh, Scorpio. There's three people in here. So um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you don't fit, please, please, please do not force it. But three energies in here. I heard a side. Uh, it sounds like soon through many series of chain events. It sounds like a side knows some deep ass information, whoever they are, whoever the side is. They know some deep, dark, dooku ass information, or they're about to learn it, how that resonates. And I heard basically they're about to sue the hell out of Scorpionic energy soon. So to me, that could resonate in a million different ways. Whoever this Sag and Scorpio are, that could be family members, they could not be family members, they could be neighbors, they could be people they knew from their past, they could be a former lover, current lover, a co worker, a former co worker, what have you, but some kind of Sagittarius going to sue a scorpionic energy this sounds like it's upcoming um it sounds like the side already knows information or they're about to learn it how that resonates and then i heard once a leo learns all the information they need to learn i heard through many series of chain, chain of events they're going to sue a scorpionic energy so sag to scorpionic energy leo to scorpionic energy masculine fem sag masculine fem scorpio masculine fem leo masculine fem scorpio I feel in some of these cases, it might be the same Scorpio. But only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Um, lawsuit energy. We haven't had lawsuit energy in here in um, a little while. But it is coming, popping back up in, in the energetic space. So you plug it in, how it resonates in one's life. I feel got to get um, energy. Spirit messages here for the fourth day. These lawsuits are going to be very, very, very winning. Okay, I heard these lawsuits are going to be very, very, very winning. Holy crap. I think somebody's taking their power back, whoever this person is. Um, I think this, in some of these situations, the Sage already knows the information. And some Sage, in some situations, the Sage might learn it soon. But it's tell, in whatever situation this resonates with, it doesn't sound like the Leo knows the information they need yet because um, I heard once the uh, the Leo learns all the information they, they need, 
they're going to. So there's definite information being withheld from a Leo energy, masculine and Leo. But it sounds like they're about to learn it soon, either from you or somebody you're connected to or through a series of came events in the universe, however that resonates. Um, however that resonates. I heard they're going to be very winning. So you plug in how it resonates. Attachment reverse, number of, um, 5 or 18 can be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 5 or 18, attachment reverse. A significant call to a compliance hotline to a company is about to come very, very, very significant soon and quickly. Private report to this compliance hotline. Very significant report. Okay, I heard a significant uh, report call and report to a compliance hotline is basically about to become very significant very soon and very quickly to um someone very soon so it's either this sage this leo well and i think the scorpio in this very in a very negative negative aspect how this resonates um you plug it in how it resonates i think a sagittarius is about to call into a, uh, a corporate compliance hotline um with some a report a very significant report or reports on a scorpio i think they either i think they work at the same company together or they used to how, how that resonates or or the um sagittarius knows information on a scorpio that works at a corporate um at a corporate institution um and they're calling in to complain on them through some kind of uh, through the corporate's compliance hotline. How that resonates. But there's a reason this Sagittarius or this Leo or both are about to call and complain on the Scorpionic energy through this uh, company Y type um, hotline for um, compliance hotline. And it sounds like it's complaint energy on the Scorpio. It's so bad. It's getting a company involved. A compliance complaint hotline and a lawsuit and lawsuits will be had how that resonates so attachment reverse i don't think this uh sag is connected to the scorpio anymore or they don't want to be connected to the scorpio anymore or what have you um but definitely no attachment no um or they won't they don't want any attachment to them how that resonates um they either don't have any current attachment to them or they don't want attachment to them. And that's why I think this complaining to this corporate hotline is about to become very, very, very significant. How that resonates. It is a corporate hotline. So, I mean, this Scorpio could work in corporate or the hell they don't have to, or they could work at a site outside of corporate. I mean, it could be any employee anywhere in this company, you know, and it sounds like it's a large company. Um, they could, be in management, manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. They could just be an employee. They could work in corporate, but this compliance complaint hotline is about to come very, very, very significant with this particular complaint or complaints from this Sagittarius or this Leo or both on this Scorpio and lawsuits coming for the Scorpio as well. So attachment reverse. Um, these people don't want anything to do with the Scorpionic energy. They're about to break away. However, that resonates. Anxiety upright. A very significant call from a cancer to this compliance corporate hotline is about to become very significant as well. Some on a Scorpio, some on another sign. 
Okay, I heard a very significant call to this compliance hotline to this uh, corporate entity is about to become very significant as well um, from a cancer. So a cancer is about to call. Some on a Scorpio, some on someone else. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So there's anxiety here. There's stress here. There's worry here. There's um, fear here of something, person, people, place, family, or situation. But um, it sounds like um, they're about to call, they're about to call and complain to this corporate hotline. Now, that could be uh, this Scorpio, Leo, I'm sorry, this Sag, Leo, or um, um, Cancer could work for this company, or they could be a, um, or they could be a purveyor of services of this company. How this resonates, it could, to me, I didn't hear what kind of company it was. It could be any kind of company. I mean, my goodness, it could be retail, it could be healthcare, it could be manufacturing, it could be, I mean, anything. It could be any freaking thing. Um, but it definitely, whatever it is, whether it's, I'll just use manufacturing, healthcare, and, um, you know, what have you as examples, um, it is definitely, I feel in a large company and so much so that they have been, they have instituted an actual like compliant corporate, sounds like a corporate hotline for people to be able to call in with, um, important information so they don't feel like this sounds like a a hotline to call into if you feel bullied if you feel, feel bullied or harassed or threatened over certain information you have like a private confidential hotline to call into for fear of harassment threatening bullying that kind of thing is what it sounds like is exactly what it sounds like to me, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's what I'm feeling. So whoever is about to call, I feel they have been harassed or bullied or threatened or, um, or someone they're connected to has been, maybe they're calling for somebody else. Um, how that resonates or calling on specific important information to wipe their hands clean of it. And so they won't be an accomplice or accomplices to crime or crimes, how that resonates. There's about to be a huge, huge, huge shift, huge shift soon in a particular community. Someone is about to see many people move very soon, very quickly, regardless of financial status. About to get the hell out of Dodge. And that's what that's what's about to prompt someone to call into this compliance hotline soon. Oh my lord, we have a lot of calling to a compliance hotline. I'll tell you that we've got lawsuit energy in here. We have this calling to this compliance hotline at this particular company, whatever company it is. Like I said, I feel like it range from manufacturing to Walmart to healthcare to etc. to food service to what have you. But um, it's very important. It's very important. And I heard a um, particular um, somebody, I think it's you or somebody you're connected to, is about to notice, I heard a lot of people are about to up and move just soon and quickly in a particular community, regardless of their financial status and situation. So I think some of these people are in debt and in serious size debt, but they're not going to care. Um, I think maybe some are going to wait to see if they can get themselves up financially before they move, but it doesn't sound like they're going to wait. They're going to just go ahead and do it because it sounds like something's going to happen in the world to prompt them to do it sooner than they had thought about doing it. And I, cause I heard they're just going to, they're just going to do it anyways. They're just going to do it now anyways, and they're just going to do it. So it sounds like they were secretly planning on moving. It just sounded like they were going to do it when they got their money up, but it sounds like something's about to happen in the universe to prompt them to do it sooner. So they're having stress, stress and anxiety, worry, fear over something. I think it's in their community um, or something that's happened in their community or something that's happening in their community that's about to prompt them to up and leave, basically. And I feel 
this, I feel this is physical traveling away from their current community, moving to another community, like physically moving. Um, and I heard someone, so I think it's you guys are about to see all this up and traveling. These people just up and just moving out of the blue. And one person is about to just up and quit their job, up and quit. No call, no show, not going back in. It's about to shock the hell out of someone in this company. And someone's about to up and quit. I heard someone's about to up and quit their job. I didn't hear what sector they worked in. But I heard they're just about to up and quit their job. No call, no show. They're not going back into their job. And I heard it's going to shock the hell out of someone in their company soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So somebody's having stress, anxiety, worry, fear at their current company. It might be the one that's getting all these about about to get all these calls to this compliance reportable hotline, or is about to get calls to the compliance reportable hotline. How that resonates. Um, and they're about to just up and quit. Or just up and quit their job, not go back. And that might be the same person that's going to move um, soon too. Um, seeing all these people move out of their their neighborhood, their community, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think they've known, I think this person that's about to move and maybe the same one that's about to quit or not, they know some deep, dark, dooku information. It might be the same person about to call the compliance hotline. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. We have a lot going in on in here. A lot of sudden shift energy, quick, 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 making decisions quick and on the fly. Uh, because something has happened in a community and it sounds very big and it in one of these situations involves a company um, and a lot of compliance complaining and reporting energy to this company. A lot of stress, anxiety, worry, and fear to this company. How that resonates. Number uh, 5, 18, or 6 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 5, 18, or 6, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 5, 18, or 6. But a lot of up and moving out of this um, community soon. Someone is about to no call, no show. It sounds like not go back into their job, period, point blank. It's going to surprise the hell at least one person in their company. It might not shock others in the company, but it's going to surprise at least one person. It might be the boss. It might be somebody else. Um, and then move and move and move and move and move and quit. A lot of people, they want to be detached from the situation I'm feeling. They're having to stress, anxiety, and worry, fear over a person, people, place, family, or situation. And a lot of people about to call a very private hotline for reporting to a company. Um, and like I told you guys earlier, I think this hotline is designed for people to call and report in privacy and confidentiality so they don't feel like they're being harassed, bullied, gang stalked, threatened. They can call and report privately and confidentiality um, type wise. Um, and there's about to be, it's not, it doesn't sound like it's about to be one person. It's at least three people in the universe about to do this, at least three. And I feel they have at least Cancer, Leo, or Sag in their charts. Whoever you are and how this applies, sir or ma'am. You can be masculine or femme, Cancer, Leo, or um, Sag. You can have Cancer, Leo, or Sag in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midnight, and Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, sir or ma'am. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.